Doing back-to-back -back swing crosses on both sides of your body is fundamentally an inefficient combo. I'm gonna explain why that is. And also at the end, I'm gonna give you a different combo to practice more efficient form. So if you've done this combo before, usually what happens is you can get that first swing cross done, but the second or the third is where things tend to fall apart and it whips you. Or maybe you have practiced this and you can do a couple times in a row of swing cross, swing cross, but at the end of the day, as you're doing this, there's still that subtle feeling of impending doom. Like if you break concentration for even a split second, you're gonna leave your session with a huge mark on your back. I hear this a lot from the jumpers I coach, and the reason you're having a hard time with this is because it's an inefficient combo. And that just means that your hands are moving around a lot more than they need to, so you can do this combo, and you will see a lot of other jumpers doing this, but when you transition from that cross into the next swing, the bottom hand goes out to the side and then comes back over the other arm, and this makes the rope twist around itself in a really weird way. And keep in mind, this is not just my opinion. The rope Rope literally does this. When you're a maniac and you study jump rope in crazy detail, like I do, you can clearly see how moving your arms like this just adds extra movement that does not need to be there. And again, you can get good at this inefficient combo, or you can do this other option, which is a swing cross to a swing open, going from one side to the other. If you do this right, you're gonna notice that it almost feels a little bit too easy, and that's because the top hand in the cross stays on on top as you go into the second swing. Now this could be a whole video by itself, and I'm gonna make one in the future, but for right now, we're gonna keep it brief. So just focus on this hand placement, keeping the top hand on the cross on top for the next swing, then bring the rope back to a single under. And resist the urge to do a lot of extra movements and throw your hands out to the side. They're gonna wanna get crazy. So remember to basically just keep your hands crossed as you go into the second swing. And here's the thing. I know that a lot of jumpers really do enjoy doing swing cross to swing cross on the other side, and it's your jumping. So at the end of the day, if you do enjoy it, you should do it. But remember, if you do wanna level up your skills and work on efficient combos later on, you really should swap out the swing crosses for the swing cross to swing open pattern. It's not only smoother and better feeling, but it also reduces the chances of really bad whips, which is already enough of a benefit, but it also gives you the option for really cool combos later on, like swing cross swing EB, swing cross double to swing open double, and some harder things like swing cross cross triple to a swing open open triple. Now you don't have to want to do all these combos immediately right now, but if you do practice the swing cross to swing open instead of those back to back swing crosses, you're gonna give yourself the option to explore stuff like this in the future without having to undo a bunch of bad habits, which is always a really good plus. And if you are into learning proper form for your jump row basics, you should sign up for my free kickstart program. There's over 30 modules in there to get you on the right track with the right right skills so you don't build up bad habits and you can keep leveling up your freestyle over time.